Who's your commander? Good luck. Equipped. Move to combat. Resolves. Right. Now, before you attack Does me. anyone have an answer? Well played. Good game. Hello everyone, my name is DJ. This is the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel. And today we have something special. We have preview cards from Double Masters 2. This is a master set that is comprised entirely of reprints. So let's find out what great commander staples are in this set. I've got two of them to preview for you this morning. First up, we have Wilt Leaf Liege. Wilt Leaf Liege is one Selesnia, Selesnia, Selesnia. Remember, Selesnia can be paid with either green or white and does contribute to the card's color identity. Okay. Wilt Leaf Liege is a four mana, four, four elf knight. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other white creatures you control get plus one, plus one. If a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard Wilfly Fleege, put it into the battlefield instead of putting it into your graveyard. That last line of text, when it becomes relevant, is so much fun. Discard a card, I'll discard it straight onto the battlefield. That's like an achievement in Commander if you can pull that off, it's spectacular. But Wiltly Fleege belongs in creature-based strategies because in many cases, it's a double anthem. It can come down and pump your entire team, making little creatures a lot more relevant. I've seen this do a lot of work in Tulsimir decks. Both Tulsimirs, in fact. Tulsimir Wolfblood is four green white for a legendary three, four elf warrior. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other white creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And you can tap it to put a two, two green and white wolf creature token named Voya into play. Of course, there's the follow-up to Tulsimir. Tulsimir, friend to wolves. Two green, green, white for a three, three elf scout. When it enters the battlefield, create Voya, friend to elves, a legendary three, three green and white wolf creature. And whenever a wolf enters the battlefield into control, you gain three life and that creature fights up to one target creature you don't control. I mean, ideally we're gonna want a deck full of green and white creatures together so they get the full plus two, plus two pump. So obviously Rayan Angel of Rebirth would be a great commander for this card. But of course we wanna go wide with all of these multicolored creatures. So I'm looking at things that create tokens that are both green and white. Torrens, Fist of Angels is perfect because it synergizes with a creature-based strategy. Torrens, Fist of the Angels is one green white for a 2-2 legendary human cleric with training. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 1-1 green and white human soldier creature token with training. In fact, we have seen more green and white creature tokens recently than ever before because citizens from the streets of New Capenna. Citizens are both green and white. And so if you look at cards like staples, like Grand Crescendo, X white white, create X one one green and white citizen creature tokens, creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Those would be creating three threes. What about rabble rousing, allowing your creatures to generate more creatures? Or maybe playing Kit Kanto or Fabine, boss's confidant. Of course, you could play Halo Fountain to create a 3-3 for just a single white mana. Or after you flooded the board with so many citizens and tokens, you just tap it to win the game. Obviously, Wiltly Fleege works with these synergies pretty well, but it can just fit in your Selesnia creature deck. All right, let's talk about my second preview card. It's a good one. It's Combal Council of Allocation. Combal Council of Allocation is one white black for a two three legendary human advisor. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, that player loses two life and you gain two life. Combal is such a solid card in Commander because people are always playing non-creature spells and getting a few drains here and there can really make the difference in a long game. In fact, there are a lot of Orzhov commanders that tax your opponent's life total. In fact, the top Orzhov commander is Lisa Shroud of Dusk and Kambal and Lisa fit so well together. Similarly, the second most popular theme for commander decks is life gain. And Kambal is one of the top most played highly synergistic cards in that theme. And if we're trying to gain a little bit of life every single turn to get certain triggers, then there's a ton of cards that synergize with it. I mean, just think about Karlov the Ghost Council or Krav the Unredeemed and Regna the Redeemer. Think about all those creatures that grow like a Johnny's Pride Mate or Voice of the Blessed or a Heliod Sun Crowned, or even an Archangel of Thune or maybe draw cards with the Well of the Lost Dreams or Dawn of Hope. 
I mean, have you ever created a horse every single turn with Crested Sunmare as your opponents just try to ramp out their spells? Yeah, Kumball is fantastic. I'm a big fan of the Kumball reprint. I'm also a big fan of this cool new art. You know, when I have staples in my commander decks, I really want them to look good and this new Kumball art looks amazing. Thank you, Wizards of the Coast, for these free preview cards. I really appreciate it. I also want to thank the sponsor of the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel, Cool Stuff Inc. You should get your Double Masters cards over at Cool Stuff Inc. And when you do, use the coupon code JUMBO5 because that's going to save you 5% off your order. I also want to thank my patrons. They're amazing. Thank you, patrons. And thank you for watching this. Do you, Are you guys going to put these cards in your decks? Do you have these cards in your Commander decks? I'm, They're staples. I'm positive that you do. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, everyone. Bye-bye.